Hey, what's up? Um, I'm just going to take us through a little showcase of PXT Lab Plus by Native Control um, and specifically how it works in user mode and what I've done. So, if you already got it installed, what we do is jump into user um, and you press hold down session and note. And um, usually you're presented um, with the drum rack screen. And so what we're going to do is uh, hold down select and click the user screen. And so this is the layout that I've um, currently rearranged, which is actually mimicking um, the layout which um, from an application um, called Poly Program Playground 2 um, by Mike Gao. So a bit more info on the description. Basically, the layout um, has a full set of um, keys and it's organized so that you can play triads in certain shapes to create different chords similar to the Ableton layout but just a little bit more easy to um, use so for example um, what we have here is C let me just turn on accent so C um, and so for a C minor you just it's just these uh, three uh, notes so if you jump into the default Ableton um, let's have a look at the scales so make sure it's in minor so it's a C minor, so if you jump into C minor, it's the same thing here. The advantage of using this um, layout is that um, you're able to do uh, sevenths and ninths, and you know, those flash kind of chords a little bit easier. So, for example, um, I think that's a seventh chord, C minor seven. So, if you try to do that in the um, default Ableton, um, mode that's what it's going to look like so it's a little bit trickier to do it in this mode in comparison to this and what's good about this is that because you have full access to all of the keys um, you can do diminished because you have your um, sharps whereas in the um, in key mode you can't do um, diminished and augmented chords and all those other ones and even if you jump into chromatic mode and try to do those chords so so this is a C minor so let me try it here first diminished and then you jump to somewhere else it's a little bit trickier so the good thing about this is that if you just keep the same shapes and you jump to different areas, it's still the same uh, minor seventh chord. And so the same thing, it's easy to do a, um, a major seventh chord. So the major, so if this is a minor, this will be a major. And so this will be major seven. So if we compare that to the in key mode on Ableton push the default mode so still a little bit trickier so the cool thing about this is that um well the cool thing about the default mode scales on here is that if you've sorted out a chord progression that you like, um, as long as you know what the, the root key that you started off with, so for example, because this is C, if we start off with C, and we jump into the scale mode on here, as long as we have it on C, on minor, and use one of the minor scales, um, we can easily play, um, you know, add some extra kind of solo but it's just to add to the track musically so so what it might look like um, practically is that um, this might be your chord progression and then what you could do is um, select another track and just keep it in a minor scale for example, this one, it's uh, currently on uh, C, 
C key, minor pentatonic, pentatonic scale, and you can just add a few bits here and there in it. And then you can just jump to another instrument bass or whatever and then just jam out your bass line etc so yeah that's your user mode and that's an example of how you can um, use it with a pxt light plus cool